Well, I started my education in El Paso, Texas. Uh, first of all, I was the only Spanish-speaking child, and so when we went into school, I didn't know a lick of English. And so uh, my education really started there uh, in, first of all, learning another culture and another language, though I've always been very proud to retain my uh, language uh, and my initial culture. Uh, and then after that, I pursued on to high school and really got interested in chemistry and the chemistry clubs, as well as, of course, cross country and other sports track that, that I ran. And then I ended up going to college and pursuing my degree in chemical engineering because I had really enjoyed chemistry uh, back in high school and had really gotten pushed to, to continue to pursue that love. Uh, and even though I originally didn't understand uh, even really what chemical engineering fully was. I just knew, hey, chemistry I know I like, that's pretty cool. And engineering, that sounds cool too, you know, so we'll figure this out. And I ended up really uh, enjoying my, my chemical engineering degree. Uh, while I was in school, a lot of other opportunities came up uh, to do research on the side. So I went ahead and pursued that and I ended up getting into uh, biochemistry type research. So I did work in one lab where uh, we looked at how to use uh, E. coli uh, to produce insulin for people uh, with diabetes who need insulin. Then I went to a genetic engineering lab where we looked at how do we uh, maybe modify plants slightly to make them grow a little faster so that we can help people by producing more food. Uh, I did co-ops while I was in college which is awesome because they pay you and when you're in college you're poor and I bought a car and paid it off. I was really good about being disciplined, yeah, I buy clothes and then I paid off my car. Um, and, uh, and I worked at, for my co-ops at Dow Chemical Company and at General Motors in the paint department. And that was a really interesting as well because I got to see a really big uh, chemical business and uh, in General Motors where I really enjoyed the fact that uh, people were really passionate about what they did. And it's not just about making money, but about making something you're proud of and that you contributed to. And, uh, and I think that's what made me realize that I would love to work for, for somebody like NASA that well has a car too, but it goes to space, uh, <laughs> and have that sense of pride uh, of contributing to that bigger project. So your little piece of the puzzle contributes to that bigger, bigger major accomplishment that no one person could accomplish by themselves. Uh, so uh, definitely that step took me to the next one and now I ended up here and I just feel extremely lucky to work for NASA and get to do such exciting things and I think uh, all of the pieces leading up to this is, is what uh, really ha gave me the opportunity to be able to work for NASA.